So, Olamic Tactical. What sort of uh, instrument of mayhem has Alex of Alex's knife box loaned me here? Olamic Tactical. Oh, not so tactical after all. Look at that. All right, full disclosure, this is a knife that I um, used to dislike because I thought it was ugly. And Alex said, you have to experience it. And so he sent it to me. And um, well, now that I have it in hand, it is an absolute piece of jewelry. This thing is, now I say an absolute piece of jewelry. Uh, obviously it isn't, it's lacking the the, the final criteria you need for something to be jewelry, and that is uh, useless other than wearable and able, and there to be appreciated. This is a very, very capable little knife. Made of M390 out in California, Olamic Tactical. This is called the Busker. And, uh, well... I'm just so incredibly impressed by the workmanship. You can see that hands touched this, but it's coming out of a somewhat production setting. So I don't know what this is called, but this frost, it looks like frost on glass, like the frost on the glass I scraped off this morning. And then you have Timascus inlay there. You can see a seam, but you can't feel a seam. You have a Timascus um, pivot collar on this side too. A beautiful clip. So you look at that workmanship, it's incredible. And that little package, I mean, it is a real little gem. I still am not crazy about how it looks, but that I have gotten over that in with so many knives that, you know, that's just me being shallow, how it looks, how it looks. Well, I think this looks stupendous, even though the profile of it maybe isn't my thing, but you hold it in your hand and you can just feel, sorry, I bumped the thing. You can just feel how ready it is but this is uh, this could be a lifelong companion. It feels like. I mean, it feels like it's built well enough to last way beyond your your life um, or mine. Uh, but I mean, this feels like it could just do the trick for just about anything forever. Of course, you're a knife collector and you're looking at this video. And if you were to have a knife like this, of course, this wouldn't be your only one. So this is also like the uh, like the sharp by design arch nemesis that Alex loaned me. I'm just kind of carrying this and holding this over tables because I just don't want anything to happen to this. Not only is it just unique, like it says here, never the same. And I know that Alex, all of his knives, he he really puts a personal spin on them with the with the makers. So I would hate for anything to happen to this and for me to be responsible for it. So just over the cutting board and just at the at the table. Though I have a feeling that this would clip ever so nicely in the back left pocket. I don't mind a little bit of girth in the in the or a little width, I should say, in the in my back pocket knives. Man, some of the things that come out of my mouth while describing knives. I don't know. I don't know. I love all of the uh, anodized hardware. It's like gold. It looks like gold. Look at that. So uh, this is a beautiful knife. I don't have much to compare it to, but I'll show you some size things. You know, I don't have too many knives in this size category, and I have uh, zero are the knives I have in this class in terms of um, workmanship and... and um, you know, unique specialness. All right, so here it is with a, a Sage 2, Spyderco Sage. So it's, it's a pretty small knife. Sorry, let me get a little OCD about this. Okay, there we go. And 
here it is with the Pete, the new CRKT Pete. Also much larger. This is these are three inch bladed knives. Uh, so there it is with the concept Pelican. As you can see, my smaller knives tend towards the three inch range. However, let's see. Here's my little Finch Runtley. There, there you go. There you go. Finch Runtley. That's that's the stable mate right there. If I think if I put it like this, it'll compare better. Let me get these out of the way. So look, let's see. Yep, about the same size. So this is actually a really nice size to just drop in the pocket. I wonder if Alex does that or if he uses that clip. This would also be nice. You know, I like lanyards and fobs. Even though I put them on, I take them off. I put them on, I take them off. Uh, but this would be nice for something leather, like a nice leather uh, fob with a, um, with a bead or something on it. You know, just to kind of fully dress it out because it is so snazzy. I think snazzy is, is, the, is the right word for this thing. So I, I, I am very impressed. Thank you, Alex. You did definitely turn this uh, ship around in terms of my appreciation of this knife. Um, you're not the only one. Uh, everyone else who has this loves it. And, uh, but thank you for putting it in my hands. I appreciate it, my man. All right, so uh, as I usually say, if you have the means, I highly recommend one.